Brick Maniacs. It is time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. Today, Cody is going to show off his F-35B Lightning II. Wow. Lightning II. <laughs> First one wasn't good enough, so they have the second one now. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> a little bit, of, yeah, go, go talk about it, man. So, this is, uh, well, it's still in process. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been in process since 2006. There's the F-35A, F-35B, and soon to be F-35C. Mm -hmm. If Well, I mean, there's some prototypes around, but. So the A model's for the Air Force, B model's yeah. for the Marines. C model is for the Navy. Um, they all have slight differences. The A is just pretty much basic jet. Basic jet. <laughs> um, the B, which is this model, this model is right the here, Stovall short takeoff vertical landing. Right. So we call it. So just like the Harrier. Apparently, it can do a similar. vertical takeoff. Yeah, it, it can do a vertical takeoff. Um, but you know, but they don't typically do that during combat situations. Just like the Harrier, the Harrier can take off vertically, but they do have that little jump ramp. It's just right. So we chose the B version. Do that. Yeah. You chose the B version, Dan chose, I chose the, B. the B version. We, we, we as a team here at Bickmania chose the B version because it's the coolest. Yeah. Who doesn't like the Stovall? Stovall. <laughs> Stovall. And it's, yeah, I, I built this thing and it's got like 28 functional opening hatches and doors and thrust vectoring fans. Just like the real thing. <laughs> Just like the real thing. Yeah, as much as the real thing as I could. Right. Um, Any so. particular reason why we chose the B model? Dan's got a big impending project, I hear. Oh, yeah. So we're looking at uh, talking about making a, an aircraft carrier, a WASP-class aircraft carrier, which would carry these F-35Bs. So that's going to be, this is like Missouri size. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. No, no, we got to keep our word. We actually have to have do it to now. do it now. It's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I understand that you built is, a model, right? I built the model. So this is, <laughs> this is it. This is a stealth multi-role fighter. Multi-role. With Stovall. With Stovall. <laughs> it's just fun to say, Stovall. Yeah. Um, so very expensive aircraft. Uh, needless to say, I think you're all probably aware or if you're not aware, now you're aware. It's a very expensive aircraft. Can, um, can we put it on the stand so we can actually like manipulate this thing? Or what would be easiest? I mean, how do we show this thing off? You know, put it on maybe on the stand to start off with. I'll so put it up on the stand. We got so, a stand also. I don't know if you is this coming out at the same time, right? The stand. Yep. So the stand, the aircraft stand. This is a separate kit. This separate is not kit included in tactical aircraft stand. I suppose you could fit a tank on top of there if you want. I suppose to. you could. Landon really wants me to make a tank that fits on the stand. Stand compatible tank. That'd be awesome. Uh, in the meantime, you can make your own tanks stand compatible. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, aircraft stand, tactical aircraft stand. No, just aircraft stand. Um, Separate from the kit, it works with your F-16 and uh, the F-4 Phantom, which is soon to come. And I'm, I'm planning on making other aircraft compatible with this stand. Uh, we used to include them in the kits, but now we're just right. having one stand that works with future models. Yes. So that will just plug right into the bottom. The bottom. Bottom of the bottom. <laughs> uh, there we go. Check that out. Hold the airplane up. So now you can have it look like like it's doing its like Stovall thing. stuff. It's Stovall thing. So, uh, landing gear's down currently. Yep. That retracts up nicely. Um, on top, we have the fan. So when this thing is coming in for a landing. This is supposedly the most powerful engine put into an aircraft, at what? least since 2010. Wow. <laughs> let's, um, let's see if we can get a top-down a top shot with that camera, show the camera that intake. So these doors Look at that. open up on top, and it actually there's a sticker that says "Danger Fan Intake." What's your daily What's your daily fan your intake? Daily Cody? fan intake uh, about one. One fan per day. <laughs> some dangerous levels of fan intake. Yeah. So there's counter rotating blades or blisks, I think they call them. Uh, that gives you thrust in the front of the aircraft to better uh, get counterbalance. Yeah. Um, and then these doors just right behind it just allow more air intake. And you can kind of see the, the shaft that drives that fan. There's a drive shaft that runs from the turbine to the fan. Yeah. Uh, and we have moving flaps. And 
elevators. And of course. And of course, oh, there's so many things to work around. Um, you want me to take the stand off now? I guess maybe it wasn't easier. Actually, yeah, I do. In order to get those doors <laughs> open, you have to have that off. Easily removing stand. Easy removal. Sold separately. I can put it back on now if you want. Mm. Yeah. Whatever. Um, so of so course we have this thrust yeah. factoring. Factoring. Um, the real one is like a three bearing doohickey. Like, like, it, like, it, like it spins kinda, like, weird. Twists and spins weird. Obviously, I can't do that. <laughs> but point A to point B, it looks the same. Point A to point B, it looks the same. Um, there's also an internal missile bay, which holds a variety of different munitions. Sorry, I, I don't know how that. to turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so it, it being a stealth aircraft, you can't have anything exposed, otherwise right. you produce a radar signature, yep. a larger radar signature. Um, this part's super cool. It's a flip up the missile. <laughs> so there's two internal missile bays. Um, each one has an AMRAM in it. Like just flips open, flips closed. Yep. Super slick. Well, I can only fit one missile in each. In um, each. So it comes with two AMRAMs. Uh, other does come with the missiles. Yep, does nice. come with the missiles. Missiles are included. No, no add-on packs for this except for the stand. Um, oh, also. So geez. many things. So many things, not now. Not now. Who's not now? You are not now. Not now. You doc. If you spell that backwards, it's Landon. What? What? <laughs> uh, so that's where the thrust comes down from the top from the fan. Uh, the blisks. blisks. And also, there's doors here on the sides. There's tiny little other tiny, thrust vectoring. Uh, what are they called? I think of what they call them. It's a uh, roll post. Roll post. So this, uh, the engine was designed by Lockheed Martin and uh, I think Rolls-Royce produced it. Um, so they helped with that, do that thing, because obviously yeah. they made the Harrier too, so. They know how to make things levitate, jets levitate. <laughs> We've been doing it for a while, it's cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that helps it stay stabilized, yeah. just little roll posts there. Uh, has some cool printing on there. We have uh, danger intake, one on either side. Actually, John made the artwork for yeah. those. And there's a 25 millimeter um, four barrel rotary gun. Ooh. That goes right here. So they kind of have this cover over it that's, uh, I'm, I'm holding this really awkwardly. <laughs> um, your arm. There's like a little door that just kind of pops open. I couldn't make it pop open, but at least I made a little cover for it. So yeah. it's, it simulates that whole situation right there with the uh, whole situation. The whole situation. Uh, you can have external hard points on here. I didn't include that because I wanted to play off the fact that it's a stealth oh. fighter. So um, you could buy maybe the F-16 pack, um, add-on pack. Modify it. Modify it, make your own hard points, all that jazz. Uh, underneath the nose here is called a EOTS, Electro Optical Targeting System, I think. Mm. So this uh, allows the pilot to, I believe, it allows the pilot to target any other aircraft in the sky, no matter which direction it's facing, and lock onto that target. Um, also, the helmet for the pilot, um, it's kind of like, uh, they remove the heads-up display from inside the cockpit, put it in the helmet, and I believe they can actually see through the cockpit to see anything all around them. Pretty intense. Pretty intense, pretty super technologically advanced. Uh, we have some... Uh, cockpit details, the camera guy can see. Um, Check that out. Some printing on the screen there. We also have an eject handle. Yes. So it was just so prominent in the cockpit that it's just right between his legs. Right there. So we just figured we'd print that on there. <laughs> um, That's cool. Yeah, other cool printing. Um, I don't know if this is the first time we printed the danger intake on something. I don't know, we, I usually make, we usually make it a sticker. Yes. I do not recall if we, I think we've, uh, I don't know. We'll have to go look back. Uh, cool printed uh, Marines on the back. A little shout out to uh, Minnesota. That's where Brickmania is. That's where we're from. <laughs> That's where we're from, <laughs> from Minnesota. So we threw the MN on the back. Uh, we do have an optional other uh, tail art there. You can check it out on the sticker sheet. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it fits on the aircraft stand. Got a sweet minifig there, Lando. Sweet minifig, you're moving on. Cool. Awesome model, by the way. It's just some. Very, very nice sculpting of Lego bricks using those slopes. Slopes. So many slopes. Oh, really nice. man, I don't think I've had so many slopes no, in, really, it's, <laughs> in it's, a kit before. <laughs> it's, uh, it's awesome. Anyways, okay, minifigure. Um, yes, we have a pilot. Uh, he's wearing that the 
Yeah. Really common. Um, you see on lots of different pilots. Obviously, the survival vest. Uh, they have a special one made for the F-35. It appears. Um, there's a pistol holster on there, pistol. and just some some webs that go along the sides, under the arm printing. Um, yeah, there's there's on their the front of their legs there. You see that blue? That's actually like a piece of paper or something. They when they're in flight. They, I don't know if they have their the orders. orders or whatever. Open in flight. I don't know if they're doing a crossword puzzle when they're flying or something. <laughs> they probably could. The plane yeah. does everything for them, and they plane just fly itself probably. Sitting there, <laughs> coloring. I yeah. don't know. Um, printed face as well. Uh, let's see if I can get that. Cody's like, make them all like. I want a big butt chin. He's got a bit of a butt chin. A little bit. Like, ha -ha, I'm a pilot. Just change it up. Just puffy print the chin. Just <laughs> <laughs> get his helmet on. It's a puffy chin. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool, 360 figure. Pretty cool uh, minifig cat helmet. Uh, cat that's got helmet. a gold visor on it because that's what those really expensive helmets look like. They do. It's like a $400,000 helmet or something. Made it's for each crazy. pilot. And then there's this mandible protection thing that... Mandible. Mandible. Instead of an, uh, sometimes we print an oxygen... Sometimes we print an oxygen mask directly on the face. Mm -hmm. We opted to go for this thing to represent the oxygen mask. Just, just to kind of close in the whole helmet. Because it is a more all-encompassing helmet. Yeah, it's, it's really strange looking. That, I mean, that's as close as I could get to making that goofy looking headset. Mm -hmm. but uh, Helmet. But. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, really beautiful model. Uh, equally beautiful uh, aircraft. Thanks. Yeah, soon to be on top of our aircraft carrier. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna look slick to me. Who knows when? But no promises on when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be slick. Um, do you have anything else, Cody? I don't know. I think I covered all of its thing the bobs. There's a lot of things. Thing the bobs. Um, do you want to show? Do you want to make some noises on how it takes off? <laughs> here we go. You gotta show it taking off. Okay. Cody. So there's the intakes here. That would be a sniff sound. Okay. Uh, when you open this up, would be a combination of sniffing and mouth <laughs> inhale. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, <laughs> you blow out there, and, and then that's exactly I don't know what it sounds like. I mean, I've been practicing a lot. It's all we've been doing this past. Everyone month. around here said that it was really good. Yeah, so we even had professionals, but like, that's exactly what it sounds like. Like real professionals on aircraft. Professionals from Silly Town. <laughs> 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 That's the episode. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell. I discovered over the weekend that if you keep ding the bell, it toggles it. So just ding it once. <laughs> ding it once. Every, so, time, every time you ding it, there's a bell in Cody's desk, and he's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> no, every time you ding it, we're allowed to make a pizza in our pizza maker. <gasps> ding. Pizza ready. Just overflowing pizzas coming out of the pizza oven. Yes, it is please. amazing. It's fine. So we really like it when you ding Rapid that fire, bell. ding that bell. <laughs> make sure it stays in the on position when you're done dinging it. Yeah. That's Tog all I got. Toggle dinger. <laughs> Little toggle dinger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs>